Hi guys, thanks for checking out another cooking with me video. As you can see, we have a pot of water boiling. We're going to add a pound of egg noodles, extra white egg noodles to this pot of water and let them boil. Now at this point, my noodles have been boiling for about seven or eight minutes. I don't want the noodles completely done because they're going to go into the oven. So I still want a little bite to them. So that's just me showing you the noodles at around seven or eight minutes. So I let them boil for like a minute longer and then I drain them. Here I'm adding canned chicken breast. So you can use tuna. Um, this is chicken casserole. So you can use it and change it into a tuna casserole. So I'm using chicken breast and I'm draining the liquid off of one can. I use a total of three cans, but I'll show you that further along. Right here I'm adding two cans of chicken breast, two 15 ounce cans of cream of celery, a seven ounce can of sliced mushrooms, and a cup of cheese. And you'll see me mix all of that together. Now, let me just tell you guys something. I try and show you guys in the videos the way I want to be shown because I didn't know how to cook at first. I wasn't a cook. I didn't learn to cook until after I got married. My husband showed me how to cook. So I try and show you guys and get up close and in the pot so you guys can see what things should look like so to make it easier to make a recipe. I, that's just me. I just try to do it the way I would want it shown to me. So anyway. So I'm stirring everything in the warm pot. So this is easy. This is like a one pot. You don't have to mess up a whole lot of dishes. This is the kind of recipes I like. So I'm going to mix that up. And in the next clip, you're going to see it's going to look very liquidy. And that's the way you want it to look. You see how thick it is right there. We're going to add milk. So it is going to become very liquidy and the milk is going to make it creamy. So we're going to add about, I think, a half cup or a cup of milk. I'll have the actual measurements in the description so that you guys will know. See, I added a cup of milk and it's going to make it very loose. It's going to make the consistency very loose. And that's the way you want it at this point. You want the consistency to be pretty loose. And stir, stir, stir. You want it all mixed together. Now, very simply, we're going to add our drained egg noodles while they're hot. Remember, the egg noodles are not completely cooked. They still have a little bite to them. So we're going to add the egg noodles and then we're just going to mix it all together. Now, as I'm mixing this, you guys, I'm checking to see if it's too dry for me. Do I need to add more cream, more uh, cream of celery, more milk? So I wanted to add another can of cream of celery. And that's why I love cooking and more milk because it's to what you like. I'm just giving you the blueprint. You make it the way you want to make it. If you want to substitute um, tuna, you can. If you want to use chicken, you can. If you want to add more seasoning, you can. It's all about what you like. That's why I enjoy this. So now I'm just adding a little seasoning, black pepper, little garlic powder, not garlic powder. I keep saying that granulated garlic, guys. I always use granulated garlic and seasoning salt. And that's to my taste. And that is the seasoned salt. So I'm mixing it up more to see if I like this consistency. To see if it's creamy enough for me. Um, do I need to add more milk? So this that's why I'm showing you guys this. So you can see um, to gauge how you want it. Just to give you an idea of how you may want it. Now I'm going to taste it. If the seasoning is fine, that's good. But for me, as I was mixing it, my meat 
to pasta ratio was a little off to me. So I added another can of chicken breast with the liquid because it's going to remember I, the noodles are not completely cooked. So the noodles are going to absorb the, the milk is going to absorb the, the liquid from the, the chicken. So it's going to absorb all of that. So that looks a little better to me. Now I poured it in a 13 by nine casserole dish. So that just lets you know how, how much this can make. So that casserole dish is full to the brim and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go use two casserole dishes. That's more dishes to be washed. <laughs> so I'm just keeping it honest. I grated my cheese. I I'm using mild cheddar cheese, but you can by all means use sharp cheddar. This will be delicious. Um, I grated my cheese on a napkin to cut down on extra dishes. <laughs> Is that simple, guys. I didn't want extra dishes. I want to hurry up and get everything done so that I can get out of the door. So these are like real life cooking for my family. Like this is literally what I do. So I grated the cheese and put the cheese all over the top. Now, if you want to add more cheese, you can. Remember, we added cheese inside the casserole. This is what it looks like. Some people use graham crackers, but I like mine with Ritz crackers on, not graham crackers. No, no, no graham crackers, Ritz crackers. And I like Ritz crackers on the side or any buttery type cracker on the side. And that is it, guys. Easy chicken casserole. You can make any week, any night of the week. So give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and leave your comments in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.